<laughs> we are good. I'm so glad to be here. You guys, thank you for tuning in to Flowers and Friends Talk Show, where you can watch all of the creatives from Bloom TV Network here live every single Friday at 12 o'clock central. I'm not going to go through all the time zones because I'll get it wrong <laughs> while the camera's on me. But my name's Dion Woods. I'm the owner and artist of the Turquoise Iris. And I am a coach to creatives and I do a lot of painting as well. Ooh, hi, Dion. Hi, I'm Ana Galena. I am a floral designer, but mostly I'm a, an ambassador for the magic of flowers. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the premiere of my pilot series this, that is coming up this Sunday. So please stay tuned. We have here with us our dear Kara. Hello, I'm Kara Jameson, also one of the co-hosts for the Flowers and Friends talk show for Bloom TV. I am a cut flower grower, an educator, and a floral designer too, and I just love chatting all things flowers. Today we have a really fun show for you. Let's play our intro video first so we can get into the show. Yes, Woo. let's do my song. I love Sorry. Oh, I'm still so <laughs> That was not the kid. That was not end. Okay, here we go. Let me tell you why I had such an interesting week over here at the Woods's house. Oh, so we had a few extra um, visitors this oh, week. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You want to? You want to hear? Yes. Yes. yes tell okay. me about this. So, so let me just see if you can figure this out. First, okay. we started our week with um, some additional critters. Oh. And they're still hanging out. Oh no! Do you have mice in your attic? No, oh, I bad. wish it were mice because if it were mice, it would have already been taken care of. But they can't quite identify what it is. A so bad? they're going to come back on Monday. Monday, I've been waiting all week. So every once in a while, I'm sitting here and I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is it? I bet we it's don't, squirrels. It could be squirrels. It could be a raccoon. But when it first landed in the attic, I was positive that it was a human body because of the oh, no. sound. <laughs> Okay, and since okay. then we've had a flamingo join us, a unicorn, and a mermaid. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, oh. No. How do I get a You video? know, you've got to pull all the stops when you're wanting to do a reel and you're wanting to really do a oh. reel. And okay. so the pool is loaded up with a unicorn floaty and a flamingo. But I'm going to tell you what brought me so much joy this morning when I looked outside and those little critters are floating around in the pool. And uh, yeah. anyway, we've, we've had some extras. So how have you guys been this week? It's been an exciting week for me. I'm, I'm preparing for this Sunday's premiere. So I've been hosting a lot of interviews, doing a lot of lives. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! Well, I've had a fun week. I'm preparing for a wedding this weekend, and I oh, have to grow girl. a lot of the flowers. I do have to um, source flowers from other places, but thought I would show you. This is exciting. Oh. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to have <laughs> a guest named Sunflower Steve on, and he is a sunflower That's breeder. And I actually planted these flowers uh, in early July to time it perfectly for the wedding that I'm designing for this weekend. And they just started blooming and they all look very different. And so it's really fun to wake up every morning and go look at the flower field and see what has bloomed because I've never grown these before. Um, these seeds will be offered to the public in 2023. And he's going to tell okay. us all about this when he comes on the show in a couple of weeks. But that's what I've been up to this week. <laughs> and Sarah, can yeah. I see that sunflower again? Is it two yeah. headed? Uh, no. Or are you holding two? No, I'm only holding one. Oh my! It's extraordinary. Uh huh. Yeah. It's so, just a, beautiful. 
Yeah. It's just extraordinary. I haven't seen anything like that. Anna, I am signed up and ready to watch your premiere on Sunday at one o'clock central. I put it on the family calendar. So no yes. interruptions, people. And Kara, <laughs> when you posted those, I just, I'm in love with those. And now I'm going to have to get my paintbrush and canvas back out. Um, yeah. I'm also, I'm, I'm ready to show you all. I'm going to wait just a minute because we want to talk about last week's show really quickly because all of us were completely inspired by the ice buckets right. and i challenged myself i knew it was going to be a little bit difficult for me because it was going to put me into a recipe and for some reason i resist recipes i do yeah what I is do. what is that I, I i don't know but i have one but before we get started because i know a lot of you might have missed last week's show we're going to run our little video clip oh yeah so let's check that out real quickly can see the whole center of the flower. That's so lovely. I think that looks really beautiful. You don't have to do that. I've done them where, huh? again, I told you my first one, when I look back at the picture, it was from like book club a couple of years ago. I mean, it was like, and I was like, this is amazing. And that's when I started <laughs> making them. And it was like, so like, like I look back at it and I'm uh -huh. like, oh my gosh, that looks terrible to me now. But there is no wrong way because they're flowers and they look so pretty. And it's, it doesn't take a lot of effort, but to me, it has such a huge impact when it's sitting on the table. Yeah. And what uh -huh. bottle of wine doesn't look better inside of a bucket with flowers? It inspired right? all of us to want to make something inspired by you. And so collectively, we went to the grocery store and we gathered up everything we needed for our own <laughs> orange Julia. Oh, <laughs> I love it. They're so good. <laughs> I don't know if mine's that good, but I had so much fun. And... <laughs> I, I, I laid out things and I was like, I'm going to be like Christy. And I, I really, I just wanted you to know that together we just, we did this in honor of you today and we oh, made Orange so Julius. <laughs> oh my God. This has been so exciting. I made three ice buckets. Three. Three. Wow. Three. Oh, I'm going to show them to you because I'm getting ready for the premiere and I'm going to have like 50 people over at my house. We're going to be celebrating Aww. with champagne so i need to have several stations so here's the first one oh That's sunflowers it has sunflowers and gladiolas oh, oh gladiolas. my goodness cool. beautiful and then i have another one that is only sunflowers uh-huh Oh, those have deeper centers. Like your sunflower is a little bit different and I can see more of the variation of the orange with that. Yeah. I love how yours turned okay. out. And then you have a third one. You're kind of a bit of an overachiever, huh? <laughs> I, I have another one with bougainvillea. The bougainvillea, that's good. Look, it matches me. Oh, I love it. But see clearly, look at this. There's a curve. You can see that my fridge is not stable. It must be curved. <laughs> so, so <I'm> like, <laughs> how about well yours? i'm gonna tell you yours i think yours are beautiful i'm i'm a little concerned that i may have flunked the assignment yeah <laughs> you didn't flunk the assignment uh, i mean oh i mean it's technically i did it but it's it's kind of maybe maybe i didn't think a paint can <laughs> Well, I have, that is perfect. You did not want the assignment. I have a lot of them around, you know. What you need. You're a creative. Oh, it's so it. beautiful, Dion. Oh, look at the center of it. Oh, wow. Well, and I didn't plan on matching my hibiscus either, but you all, I think, <laughs> here's what I learned. Don't use metal in the center. So I'm going to give myself not a flunking grade, but I am going to give myself a D because if I listen to the instructions, Christy actually said maybe not use metal, but I didn't, I missed that part. Yeah, um, right. So we're, we'll give myself a D and I probably for a flower this big, next time I will do a larger bucket. Like Anna, your buckets looked a little bit bigger than mine. Okay, I made what, what you guys an actual ice bucket holder. Oh. And I okay. put a ceramic pot in the center. So okay. I wasn't able to see how my flowers were, but okay. it, and that's why they're kind of not perfect, but that's okay. And I, I really enjoyed it. Taking them out was really hard. The first one broke, but then Christy told me, just put, put it back in the freezer and it might glue itself together. It's not glue, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And it did. It so did. It oh, yeah. Okay. 
Well, oh. I, I can't get this in or out. We left that out for like 45 minutes and I still could not get the metal metal out. So <laughs> I'm thinking plastic would have been better, but she said use what's around the house. So yeah. let's just say it's Christy's fault because she's not here today. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, let's do that. No. I'm just I think the best part is like tell every week. You need trial and error, see what works for yeah. you. As we know, metal does not work. So please, right. everyone, if you're going to try this at home, don't use metal. I love it. Well, I plan on, I, I feel like I failed the assignment because I, I didn't do one this week. Busy mom to four kids, homeschool, running a farm. I didn't find time for it this week, but I plan to next week after this weekend. So, I'm, oh, I, so I planted a sunflower field for the public um, at my church. And so I'm doing that this weekend plus doing a wedding. So we will do the flower bucket next week. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to give you a pass on this, yeah. here because I know the homeschooling, I know you started back to school um, and you have a lot going on and I'm going to try that again. It really yeah. was a lot of fun and I appreciate Christy. I've been following her on Instagram and just kind of soaking up everything that I'm learning from her. Kind of like our girl, Anna. So we're going to, we're going to nickname Anna Galena over here today. We're going to call her Anna G. And we're going to have our beautiful guest on today. Anna Bianchi is going to be joining us and she is AKA Anna loves color. So let's pull her up today. Hello, my friend. Hi, Hello. Thank Hello, you for having me. Anna. Yay, we're so happy you're here. Yeah, Anna is, Anna is a, okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about her before she gets started in on her segment. So what she told us is her heart is part of her garden, like her garden and her are connected. But what she's been able to do is build her business and her creative business around being an artist, a designer, an illustrator. She deals ex kind of zones in on surface design, toys, uh, her colorful art, illustrator, author, children's books. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But overall, everything that she does is centered around flowers, which is why she's one of our newest Bloom TV experts. I'm so glad you're here, Anna. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, I mean, my whole life I've been making art and drawing and I've been obsessed about color ever since I was like a little girl. And my mom actually was like one of the most talented floral arrangers, a self-made gardener. She was like a flower person extraordinaire. So I grew up around her doing her flower shows and judging flower shows and everything. You know, you picture the scene of these ladies. Sure. And I mean, in the meantime, I was just drawing and drawing and making all kinds of things. And, um, you know, I do a bunch of different things, but because I'm just obsessed about creating beautiful things. And but, you know, there is a place in my heart that is very connected to the garden. Um, I lived in apartment buildings for like many years. I used to be in New York City and then I moved to California. Oh. I was finally able to have a garden yeah. and the garden has become like an extension of my own studio. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, it's interesting because when we were in lockdown, um, I ended up starting a series, mm -hmm. a personal project that now it's hopefully becoming a book and, and more other things um, that connected my art practice with my obsession with gardening. Uh -huh. And this project is called Color Flora. And basically what I did for... Can I show them while you... Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. These oh, are yeah. Beautiful. We have some images here for you guys uh, to take a look at. I just, so what? these are the kind of things that I spend doing like a whole year. Uh -huh. There's, I have thousands of images like these. Uh -huh. And it was basically, I was cutting whatever was blooming or fruiting or dying in my garden, you know, like in the fall or in ah. the winter. I would create these color blobs of foliage or flowers or tomatoes or whatever was happening out there and then create a color palette for it. So, you know, this, doing this really made me a much better gardener, uh -huh. but also deepen my Ooh. practice. Because it's like, there's like thousands of palettes and thousands of possibilities <clears throat> that, that just happen within the confines of my yard. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, so, you know, just that love for color and that just for the flowers, I think it just opened like a new avenue for me creatively. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. It's, wow. it's amazing how the garden inspires us because I saw that too with my gardens. I saw me just walking through the gardens and seeing what is in bloom really inspired me to create floral designs. And I actually didn't know that I loved to design and create like that until I really started planting the gardens. And so your gardens, you must have a whole lot of plants because that is a lot of different flowers that you have there. So every year is very different. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm in Northern California, so obviously it's very challenging mm. in the summer with the drought. Oh. Um, and I'm learning to garden this particular garden. That yeah. year I was like in the garden all the time, growing seeds and planting baby plants and doing a lot of things because I was doing <laughs> Oh, hold on. We're so having a little bit of audio that? issue. Oh, okay. okay. We did. Yeah, we didn't hear know. that last sentence. No, that some years I, I have a lot of plants, and some years I have to deal with critters. This is the year that I'm dealing with critters. So uh, <laughs> you know, that's it's not as bloomerishes. Is that even a word? Yes. As other years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, I understand that. You know, I know where I live, we haven't had a lot of rain. It's been like 100 degrees. And so I've definitely noticed some of the plants have suffered. But that's the beauty of growing a garden because mine look different every year. Yeah. Um, so exactly. you really can be inspired with different colors. I'd love to know the color swatches that we just saw of yours. Mm -hmm. Is that like once a month that you did one of those? No, Beautiful. actually, I mean, I was... Daffodils. Oh, looks okay. like we lost Anna. So, uh oh, hope she, hopefully, she'll be right back on. There she is. Uh, <laughs> there Sorry. She is. Okay. Um, Don't worry. I was photographing flowers or leaves or whatever on a almost daily basis, regular basis, and I was just focused on the photos and the photos and the photos. Okay. And at some point, I said, "Okay, enough already. I've been photographing this garden for 15 months uh -huh. through basically five seasons." Time yeah. to start working with the color. So I started with the first batch of color palettes. I made selections of, of like the photos that I like the most. Uh -huh. And then I have a first batch of a hundred color palettes. Wow. And of course there's many more photos I could, you know, dissect into colors. But now I'm sort of like playing with those palettes, creating illustrations or creating textiles or surface design or, you know, whatever comes my way. Okay. Well, Anna has a really fun project. So those of you tuning in, be sure you tag your friends because she has put together a really fun project. And she says that this works for every one of us at different levels, right, Anna? You promised. Yes, promised. <laughs> <laughs> when should we expect your book to come out? Um, well, I hope soon. I'm still trying to find the perfect publisher. So I'm in the early stages of sending out proposals to publishers. So hopefully somebody will say, this is so beautiful. This is a great gift. And this is also an inspiration for all kinds of creatives. Because I can yeah. see like floral artists getting inspiration from these colors and wedding planners and designers and illustrators. So hopefully, you know, I've, I'll find the right publisher. Because mm -hmm. I think this could be a really beautiful book. Well, I noticed something about your color swatches, Anna, and I'm sure, ladies, um, there's something that was consistent, and I'm going to see if the ladies agree with your color swatches. Um, for me, when I look at them, they're very joyful. Like there's a lot of energy, and they're very bright. And that, my friend, I do see some darker tones, but they're still very energetic. Um, and of course, that's the kind of artist that I am. It's the very colorful. So, I mean, when I see them on the screen, I'm like, oh. So I'd buy your book, Anna, I promise. I would love to see just the pages flipping through. Yeah, well, hopefully I can also put together some merch for people to buy because these would be beautiful prints for the walls of anybody's house. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so tell me, with these colors that you've come up with, what do you do with these colors in particular? Well, I use them for inspiration. If I'm doing, let's say, a surface design to design a fabric, you know, I may go back to those colors for inspiration. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. We'll give it just a minute. I, I think she'll come back in just a minute. Yeah. 
let's 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 try maybe removing Anna from the screen and bringing her back in. Sorry, Anna, um, your audio got lost. Let's try again. Hi. No, I think you'll need to go and come back again. Part of technology. But yes, why don't you come out uh, of the platform and then come back again? You ladies think that would help? Yeah, yep. hopefully so. Okay. That happens with technology. If we've learned anything with doing this talk show, it is to be patient with technology and give yourself time to figure it out. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's almost like there's a um, we're picking up someone's audio from somewhere else. Uh huh. No, we cannot hear you, Anna, and we're so eager to learn. Anna, it might be best if you actually signed out and come back in to the restream you. and let's. Oh, we oh. hear you too. Oh, wait. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we are back on. Yes. Kind of. Sorry. Do you want me to leave and come back? Yes. Let's do what that. Do you think, girls? Yeah, hopefully let's, it will. <laughs> let's give that a shot. Hopefully so. it will. Okay, let's take a look in the comments right here because we've had a lot of comments fly by. Um, let's say ho hello here. We have Josie. We have Joan, Erica, Renee, Tasha, Jacqueline. Woo, Carrie, Carmen. Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Yes, ladies and gentlemen that are joining us, if you will do us a favor and tag anyone you know that loves flowers, which that's probably a lot of people, but at least let them know we're, we're still trying to really build this show and bring awareness to Bloom TV. Uh, we are on all social media platforms. We are um, going and we're growing and um, you have 20 people in here. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Um, <laughs> We're, we're really, we're trying to bring awareness and bring a focus to all of the creatives, just like Anna, who are centering their in, entire art around the flower and the beauty of it. So we're it seems back. like I'm back. Yes, we're working. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's dive right. into your project. Perfect, yeah, so let's get started. So what I want to share with you is something that is super simple to make and also super cheap. So, um, and these are like rubber stamps that you can use to create, you know, you're going to be hand carving uh, rubber stamps to create, stamps to create stationery or fabric or wrapping paper. This is like a really fun thing to do. And you can do it whether you're like a very advanced pro artist or if you're just starting. Um, for the materials, actually, let me show you something. In, yes. So the look that this is going to create is what in the olden days was like a woodcut. So, this is a piece of wood that I carved many years ago. You see, like the image is reversed. You see, oh, no. chunky piece of wood. This is this is fair wood, and this is how it was always done since I don't know, like medieval times. This is really hard to carve. You so, carved this? You did wow. this? Yeah, because I wanted to be like you know, like do rare and create like wood wood prints, and th this prints beautiful stuff. But this is hard. This will give you arthritis. Incredible. So, <laughs> in, in modern times, they came up with some with linoleum. So you see here, it has like fabric in the back, and in the front is like the linoleum. So people yeah. started carving the linoleum to make lino cuts to to print with this. But now there is something even better, which is carving on erasers. So oh, yeah. this is. This is like your run of the mill little eraser that you buy. Okay. Yeah. If you want to make little ones, you know, a regular, it doesn't even matter if it's used. A regular one, you see, like, for example, these leaves I carved yes. out of an eraser like this. Oh, wow. Or you can buy these bigger ones. I mean, they make them in all sizes. This is the same material. You see, it's by Speedball. And you but just buy that by the sheets. Anna. Yeah, you can buy like in, they come in all kinds of sizes. I buy, uh, you will see why I buy the big sheets in a minute. But these things, you know, whether you use the eraser, which is like a dollar, or you use these bigger, more professional things, the result is really the same. So why don't we get started? 
Let me pull out my Well, notes. again, this happens to me every week. I'm never going to look at an eraser the same way. Ever. No, totally. It happens every I mean, time. Remember we used to do, like in preschool, like stamps made out of potatoes? Yes. Uh -huh. Except this, this, this doesn't have like the gross, uh, you know, starch and the water that comes out from the potato after a while. Yes. But it's really like the same thing. So this can be done with kids. Um, so I'm going to jump right, right into the, the tutorial. And the first thing is, you know, just use your sketchbook to, to draw some things. In okay. this case, I'm going to do some flowers. And because of the nature of the, of, of, of the project, you don't need to do like hyper realistic. You don't need to go super crazy with the details because you're going to be carving out a lot of those details. Okay. I like out. that we don't have to do too many details because I'm thinking that carving sounds a little intimidating. Yeah, no, this, this can be, you know, as simple as you want it because it's okay. going to look really awesome anyway. And, and it can even be very crude. It can be tiny without not a lot of details and then you just go crazy stamping all over. And this is your magic tool. This thing, I think it costs like seven or $10. Uh, so this little machine, not machine, this little tool comes, let me just run through these tips. So it comes with, you know, sort of like a bigger carving tip. It's these uh -huh. little things you will, uh, that you insert. Where yeah. do I get one of these, Anna? Where do I buy this? I, I saw them, I mean, in any art store, but you know, I'm not crazy about buying everything on Amazon, but Amazon has it. <laughs> <laughs> but in any art store, this, this is called, um, 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 how do they call it? Like lino cuts, um, or carving, carving for lino cut. Okay. Uh, so there's like a very pointy V1, let me see. Uh, okay. I don't okay. see. This one is for details. The other one, the fat one, is to carve out the excess. And then there's these like sharp knives. So I'm gonna okay. be using all of them so that you can see what they do. So once you have your drawings, the first step, um, let me put this thing in place. So you see, you just put it in here, you secure it. Okay. And it's ready to go. Okay, and it's battery powered. No, no, no. This is hand powered. This has no battery. Oh, you are. I have, to do, I have to do all the work too. Exactly. So this is ready to go. So the first thing is that with a pen, with a regular ballpoint pen, okay. you trace your flowers or whatever you are doing, and you see it's like, you know, they they are sort of simple, and you can add details or you can leave them simple. So this is I the first them. step. This is a chunk of that big thing, but you can also do one flower at a time per eraser. Okay. The second thing I do, and you see, so obviously, it, this thing called, is called washable. This is one of those ink pads for kids. Okay. Uh huh. I can tell you, this thing is not washable completely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to get my finger dirty and you will understand why I'm doing this mess in a second. And then I'll just make everything slightly pink. Okay. And you see, it covers, it, uh, it covers the white mess of the eraser, but doesn't cover completely the lines I traced. And now I'm gonna start carving. So I'm using the really sharp one. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is carve out the um, on the a, of the flower. Anna, do you mind if, if if we tilted the camera just a little bit down? No, not at all. Let me come. Are you me. able to do that? I think so. If you don't mind my close up. Well, no. part of part of the project is cut off, and, and several of, of people have asked if we could see a little bit okay. better. Let me see. Yeah. I'm fighting with this tripod. That's perfect. Perfect. Honey. There we go. Okay. Oh, all, the, all of your stamps. Oh, there's a bunch of stamps down there. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones that I've been using for a while. So, okay. so here we go. Can you see it better? Let me see. I think I'm yes, ma'am. I think this will come. Yes. Here we go. So here I have like this simple flower. Okay. So I'm going to start carving. You see how I'm pushing? You're going to get a lot of these little debris thingies. So I'm going to go around the whole silhouette. 
of the flower. Uh -huh. And believe me, this, this is way better than carving on wood because this <laughs> is like oh, yeah. <laughs> so soft and easy. However, be careful not to push, you know, this can still snap and you can hurt yourself. Okay. So, you know, just position your hands in a way that doesn't, you're, you're not at risk and you don't need to apply a lot of force. Okay. Otherwise I'm worried that I would pierce it. No, because, it, well, this thing is really thick and, and okay. you know, look at the size of the shavings that I'm getting. They are like okay. uh, really thin. Little. I mean, as you start carving, and, and, you know, it's, it's just, it's easy. And if you make a mistake, probably it's not even a mistake. You can, you can get back to it and, and, and improvise with it. Wow. So now that I carved the silhouette, you can see why I painted in pink. Uh -huh. Yes. So I you can, can see. really see where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you know, you can just keep on carving. So I'm gonna do a few things on this flower just so that you can see the things that can happen. So if you, you can create a little bit of um, texture of the petals, you can, some things are easier to do than others. Here I did the center. Okay, um, so I was picturing that you were going to scoop out the entire petal, but you're actually just lining the flower. Like, it, yeah, or creating little textures or, or, or details. You yes. see here, I'm, I carved a few more details on the flower. Okay, I'm getting it now. I'm getting uh -huh. it, I see. Because basically, the surface that looks pink right now is the area that will receive the ink. And that's the, the part that when you stamp it on paper, that's the part that is going to, to make the mark. So basically, you know, let me jump ahead in these things for the sake of time. So, for okay. example, here I carved oh, all cool. the silhouettes on the whole piece, right? Yes, uh -huh. very cool. And then if I jump one more step, then I carve out all the oh, rest. Wow. Oh, pretty. So you, can, you can see, like, even, like, in that sunflower, I, uh -huh. I did, like, little cross uh, crisscross on the center. Uh -huh. In the pansy, I did some volume on the, on the leaves. But these other things, I left them very simple. Yeah, yeah, I love how you're doing that. So you would take something like that, and what would you what would you apply it to? Fabric, paper. You can depending on which you would need a bunch of. So let me pull out the paper, mm -hmm. so that we can start stamping because the, that's that's when things get really fun. Yeah, <laughs> and just because I'm you know a little bit of of an obsessed artist and I love my plant books. I'm going to be carving this one. This one is much more complex okay. for later so that I can put it like, you know, an ex libris. Remember what an ex libris is? It's like an old fashioned stamp that you would put on your books to identify that that is your book and nobody can take it. Oh. So you you, stamp, you would stamp this sort of like in the first page of, of a book to uh -huh. mark your books in your library. And something that is very important, and that's why I'm showing you this right now, is two things. You see how the letters are reversed? Uh huh. Remember, yeah. this thing is going to print, and uh -huh. then you want this to be the the the, um, the positive. This okay. is the negative. So oh, if you gotcha. do any kind of lettering, it needs to be reversed. This is very important. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, I think I would probably I would probably get that wrong. Yeah. Oh, let me let me laugh about it. This is. This is a little important thing that we have to do. So um, once you have like all the, the pieces carved, yes. if you are using one of the big thingies, is you need to cut them separate. So that's what this other sort of uh, knifey looking dangerous bit looks uh -huh. like. <laughs> danger, <Okay>. danger. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's so beautiful. And I'm just admiring this tabletop. Yeah. I'm a artist, so I'm looking at the green chippiness and I'm like, oh, that green just looks so wonderful with yeah. your pink stamp sitting on top of it. What a beautiful image right here that we have. You Anna, know, these, tell me. I want to show the viewers something real quick. Tell me, I'm going to put one of your pictures on the screen right here. Perfect. Uh, this. Exactly. So you carved, this was all carved by stamps. Yeah, like here is here's one um, 
you know, when a bug, ay, 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 let me get in the center. Here's a bug, okay. here's a butterfly, here's a little flower. And like with that piece of art that I did originally on paper, I ended up turning it into, into a, a repeat pattern that then was produced with fabric that then I used oh. in one of the dresses of a clothing line I have for little kids. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, you know, that, that had a lot of animals. Here I'm doing a lot of florals. And so I'm going to, you see how I have all of these here, right? Yes, so yes. Now what we need to do is cut them individually. Okay, you're applying a little bit of muscle there, I noticed. So you're. Yeah, because I have to cut it. That's why I'm putting cardboard underneath so that I don't damage my already historically damaged table. <laughs> <laughs> now, let that. me come really close up. So oh, you see how you there's, that? when I carve all these things around, there's a little bit of texture. Uh -huh. Sometimes yes. a little bit of that texture picks, picks up when you are putting the ink. You may live with that because that really gives it the, the woodcut look. Or uh -huh. you can trim it so that you only have your flower. Okay. okay. Yeah, we've okay. got some questions from the from the viewers right now. Kara, you want to read a few of those and see um, if we can help the sure. viewers get some answers? Yeah. So I yeah, there's several questions. Okay, is the white pad a large eraser? Basically, is okay. is a very similar material. So these these big these white erasers are made out of high polymer or something like these are called. You see, high polymer eraser. High polymer eraser. Okay. Uh -huh. then, I mean, these are regular white erasers. The big pad, let me see what it says in the label. We'll, we'll put that down in the comments as well. Shelly, if you could put that down um, in the comments for the people that are watching the replay, that'll be helpful. Yeah. Okay. So this big thing, and you know, this is the same thing, but I bought it in this size, the one that I'm going to use for the deliveries. This thing is just called. Um, um speedy cut okay and you can buy those in in art stores okay, uh, okay. Awesome. In any art store really is it an exacto knife is that what it's called no this is not an exacto knife this is for wood carving is wood it's carving. also it's also made by speedball and it's uh a, a car carving tool for lino cuts like okay. linoleum cuts Someone in the comment said speedy cut. Perhaps that's the name of it. The speedy Whoa. cut is this material. Oh, that's the material. Okay. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What I love is I was scrolling through your Instagram on it and there were several of your patterns that I just found to be very innovative because what's happened is you with when you make your own original stamps, then you can create your own original pattern. And so you're doing that and creating a children's clothing line. So, yeah, so I have, well, in, in my clothing line, which is called Paper Girl, and you can also see it in my website, and I love scholar. Um, I created all kinds of illustrations in all kinds of different um, techniques to create the fabrics for the um, the dresses. Okay. So that's what makes them sort of un uh, unique. There's two or three dresses that I did with this method. So um, okay. there's one that has like flying fishes. Oh. I think I, I, you guys have a photo of that one. That one it's, it's you know, I just carved the little fishes and, and I carved a, a block with um just like one wave pattern so that one is all the animals and the other one i think the oh. long white one is the, okay. the one with the fishes let me um, let anna while i get this photo why don't you tell them about the giveaway that you are doing on your website mm -hmm. yeah exactly so obviously you know the more people that that are connected to to my art the happier i am <laughs> because i mean really I mean, I've, I spent my whole life making art. I spent my whole life um, creating, in, you know, colorful things. So I have a lot of things to share. Not only, you know, things you can buy like the dresses, but also I have a few exciting things in the cooks in, uh, cooking, including new videos for Bloom TV. Okay, wonderful. 
So um, this is actually my debut in Bloom TV, but there's a, a few interesting things being recorded. Wonderful. And I want people to know about these things when they are coming. So if you guys join my mailing list, I'm going to send you uh, some line drawings as a thank you. Okay. Um, so that you can create your own, um, you know, ex libris. I mean, okay. this can also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here so that I can also use the flowers on their own or I can add the ex libris if I'm using it on a book. And I'll send you another sheet full of different flowers just so that you feel confident about getting started with this. Nice. I love it. So people can go to AnnaLovesColor.com and sign up for her giveaway. And I'm going to put on the screen a couple more of your prints. We have this uh, beautiful pink floral right here. Exactly. And that, like, the stamps are, like, this size. It's, it's like, it's just a tiny little nugget. But then okay. you just go, like, crazy. Wow. Okay. And then we have another one. Look at these butterflies. How exactly. That's, that's, I think, this guy. Okay. So that, that is a greeting, a thank you note for that I use. You know, every time I have to send a thank you note to somebody, let me uh -huh. pull that out from my little drawer. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. I, I love that. So, so oh. they sell these things uh -huh. that are uh, basically it's, it's the card. We are going to uh, stamp a couple right now. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Let's do that. I love any type of customized thank you cards or customized any type of, you know, when someone places an order or any, I love being able to have your branding included in anything customized like that. Yeah. And even, you know, you, you can, I've stamped posters that somebody bought for their daughter's room. I bought, you, you know, we, I, I've stamped like crazy, just like a roll of paper and right. use it for, to wrap Christmas gifts, for example. So there's, there's some limited things that we can do. So okay. before I move on to paper, is there any question around the carving? I don't think so. I just need to practice and do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally, once you get started, you won't want to stop. And um, let me show some of the ones that are finished. So let me, sh for example, these little leaves. Once I carved like the, the silhouette, you see mm -hmm. how I went back in and I carved like the little details in the leaves. Yes, you can, you can totally do something like that, or you can do. I mean, this this guy I love. This is yes, like a, and and Tasha a Tasha Watkins dude. is saying. Ooh, that's so um, Tasha says I could use this for my book making. She wants to make books hand totally. Made books, so she's talking about um, customizing them and stamping them herself. Um, Laura could not see the name of the large polymer. What's it called? Because Google is not helping today. Yeah. So <laughs> you can. So this is the brand, Speedball. Is it upside down? Yes, Speedball. Speedball, got it, thank so you. Speedball so makes speedball. this material and makes this thing, the okay. tool. So if you look, Speedball for Lino Cut, like L-I-N-O Cut, you will start seeing all these materials. This okay. particular thing is called, is the, the brand is called, not the brand, the product name is Speedy Cut. All right, so let me grab the for stamping. Let's move these things out of the way. Actually, I'm going to use this. Anna, yeah. I know that you have such a strong desire and passion for what you're doing. And, yes. you know, informing your community and really collectively building this, you know, and really, really trying to build this. Is this something that. You've always been doing since a, as a young girl. Was this something that you you did with your parents or your family or siblings? So there was a level of artist, artistry in my family. You know, like my mother was an amazing knitter and she liked the flower arrangements. So there was always like creativity. My grandfather was an art collector. So there was always art on the walls of everybody. And But I knew I wanted to draw since I was tiny. Like I have... Um, I mean, I wish you could, I, if you switch me, let, or actually, let me tilt the, the camera for a minute. Since, of course. Since what do we, we are talking to do? I know so, it's been hard. 
we were we were actually hoping you all that we would have two cameras set up on Anna so you could see overhead. But you know yeah. this the social media thing and the interwebs it just you know it does what it wants to do. Sometimes you just gotta roll. And that's the beauty. So, for example, you see that that angel thingy here looking. Like I yes. painted that when I was six. On the other side of my of my studio, I have actual color palettes that I painted when I was when I was five because I was already like, Get out. you can mix colors with this. So you know, I love that. I've always been an artist since I was a tiny kid, and you know, always you see my Christmas cards to Santa Claus, and I'm asking for <laughs> markers and paper, and I mean, I never played with. Barbies or any kind of those kind of things. It was always like obsessively art materials. I studied graphic design. Okay. So a lot of my work is, you know, is graphic design oriented, but but I still like bringing uh, creative stuff into graphic design. So my design is also very artistic in a way. Yeah. And well, I, it shows. Know, basically the only thing I've done my whole life is art related. Yeah, it shows too. Your passion really shines through in everything that you're doing. It's really. So are we ready? Yep, let's do yes, it. Go. We're ready. So you see, oh, I was just going to say, there's ink that is called archival. This is going to last longer. Like it's light fast. It's a slightly more, um, um, you know, professional if you're doing something that you're going to frame. But there's all kinds of color pads like this. You can buy you know in our stores but you can also find them in joanne's you know this is just like in this is like this was a a, a kitty craft kind of ink okay so here we go okay and you're just randomly you're not thinking about your composition or you're just you're doing it because it's intuitive but right now i'm doing it just randomly okay and um but i mean just look at that Oh, you oh, did that. that. Oh, beautiful. And I carved that like in one second. Um, now, now, she's she's bragging. Bragging. now she's just bragging. I wish. No, 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 really. <laughs> this thing is like so fast. And then yeah. you just go with it. Yes. I mean, look at, for example, look at the flowers in my blouse. Yes. They have like pretty simple flowers. So, you know, that's something you can totally do. Like, and you see, like, here I'm going double on some of the, the little stamps. Will you be making videos like this on Bloom TV Network? Yeah, I, like this, I'm gonna do an extended version so that we can go into other more complicated, um, maybe printing techniques using these things. But okay. the, my first video that I'm producing is a very interesting technique that you basically use the sun. Let me show them how we are doing here. Beautiful. Uh, more centered, right? Ooh, there we go. So you see this little this little guy that is like nothing. Yes. Uh, making that whole like uh, spray of flowers on one side. So the first video that I'm doing um, and releasing in September is the it's about uh, how to use the the light of the sun to create prints on fabric. So oh, it's, wow. it's a really really cool technique. I'm gonna use yeah. my little tiny. So remember this tiny little flower? Yes. Uh -huh. Here we go. Let's let's do a lot of this one. And I'm keeping it right now just for the sake of time, just one color, but you can have like as many colors as, as you want. Mm -hmm. Well, you're making me very excited to see your new videos on Bloom TV. I know you're one of our newer experts. So uh, for those of you watching, there's not, she doesn't have her videos yet, but she's in the process of getting those. And um, Carol, remind everybody how they subscribe to Bloom TV Network and where they can find all things Bloom related. Yeah, if you just go to bloomtvnetwork.com, I believe we have a screen we can show you. And let's see here. I'm already here. No, you're fine. No. Let's see, Bloom TV, there we go. Bloomtvnetwork.com, if you go to the um, upper um, left-hand side, uh, you can watch Bloom TV Network right there, but we also have a Flowers and Friends tab. If you go there, you'll be able to see all of the episodes. We're on episode 18 now, and you'll be able Yay. to sign up for our newsletter and giveaway, and we actually have a giveaway winner for this week. Yes, and we do. And look like Sue Hall won our giveaway this week. 
Yay. Congratulations, Sue Hall. I also shipped paint out last week to the winner who um, you have, that's the trigger. You have, Sue, we can't find you. So you'll have to email us. Um, you have to let us know so we can get your address and then we can ship you paint and also give you a annual subscription to the blooms wow. it's like it's like the best thing ever it's such a great gift i'm telling you it so is. Yeah. um what we what we want to do is just on if you don't mind showing the that up close to the screen and then we're gonna kind of close out a little bit today perfect so you see i was just going away with random things but you know uh -huh. oh my gosh you put the bug in there yeah, exactly. I, you know, why not a little bug? Yes. In there. Why not? So, you know, who wouldn't want to receive something like this handmade as a thank you card? No, Absolutely. I would. Absolutely. I, would. I think every single person would like to receive that and every I, I a lot of us would enjoy doing that. Um I I'm not going to commit like I did the water bucket on it. I last week I said I'm going to do the water bucket, but this week I feel a little bit intimidated by uh, the rubber stamp, but I am going to try it. I will try it. I'm just not sure I'm going to have it ready by Friday, but you have really inspired me and this this whole month of August has really been about trying new things. It's kind of one of the topics I'm coaching in my membership group. Um, I want them just to practice. It doesn't matter what it is, but practice something do something new and this show has been a perfect tool for giving me content on what i want to try don't you feel like that Anna G? I that's totally what I agree and i wish i would have learned how to make this before because i would have loved to create some and send them to the people that help make this pilot series a reality in a thank you note i'm sure i can still do that because this is an ongoing project. I really want to take the opportunity to remind all of you here that this Friday is going to be the premiere of an episode I made with Bloom TV. Sunday. Sunday, I'm sorry. This Sunday. Sunday, and, not Friday. I'm sorry. This Sunday. I'm just too excited. In two days, I'm going to show you a quick video uh, what this episode's all about. Here we go. Let's do it. A grabar este episodio sobre flores comestibles porque muy poca gente sabe que existen. Me interesa saber cómo se cultivan, cuáles flores nos podemos comer. Quiero saber por qué casi no las vemos ni sabemos que existen. Así como por qué cuando nos las sirven en un platillo las hacemos a un lado y no nos las comemos. Pero sobre todo, quiero explorar la magia de una flor en la comida. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this Sunday. I, let me show you what, I, what I've been making because I'm actually yes. hosting a watch party. And let me tell all of you that don't speak Spanish, the video has subtitles in English. You're going to love it. It has beautiful uh, images. The production is so pretty. And look, I'm preparing. I have some floral, oh, ice. floral ice. ice. You did it, girl. You did it. I have ice and i have here and i have for those of you that just tuned in my yep. ice bucket floral yep. ice bucket because we're going to be celebrating with champagne please sign up for the watch party you can do that when you go to boomtvnetwork.com there's a uh, it's free. Anyone can watch it. And really by you joining us, you're going to create, make this pilot episode into a series. So I'm sure you're going to love it. That's, oh, we know you're going to love it. Do you see the energy that that little video, that's that little trailer clip you got me all like, oh, excited. <laughs> but that's the thing to remember, everybody watching, this is free. Mm -hmm. This is a free thing that you can watch and just kind of get a taste of what Anna has uh, other videos on Bloom TV. Um, but this is free that you can all sign up. So I've got it set on my family calendar. So everybody knows it's Sunday at one o'clock central. We're going in. Anna Bianchi, this was such a treat to sit down yes. with you today. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. Thank you for having me.
Yay! That's beautiful. And, and you know what Anna was saying about the edible flowers is like I eat a lot of flowers and I grow flowers for eating and they're yummy. Like I'm actually turning those roses back there into a cake after we are done with this um, show. Oh, oh wow. of course you are. <laughs> that sounds amazing. That well, sounds amazing. Know, see, episode one of the Flowers and Friends talk show, we had Danielle Fisher on here and she showed us how to make um, sugar-coated edible rose petals, which I didn't know was a exactly. thing. Exactly. <laughs> so fun. So those are going to be on top of the cake as, okay. as caramel flowers. Wow. Yeah, ladies, we have no excuse not to have a really spectacular dinner party because we've yeah. all learned some really interesting things oh, this summer, haven't we? <laughs> so many incredible things. Yes. All right. Well, I, I, we, unfortunately must in the show which i just could talk all day about all this stuff and watch uh yeah. making erasers i think that's just so fun because you know each print is so unique um but we must thank our sponsors for sponsoring bloom tv and our show today we're going to show you a quick video and come back and say goodbye We have built the world's first flower-focused streaming network, bringing the public educational and entertaining shows that highlight the magic of flowers. Learn how to heal through flowers, cook with flowers, design your living space to reflect nature, make crafts using florals, sustainably garden, and so much more. We are your network for all things floral. Join us at Bloom TV as we help bring beauty to the lives of people and the planet through nature's most beautiful creation, the flower. Ooh, before we go, I want to take a moment to read what Donna wrote, wrote right here. It says, my sisters are coming in a couple of weeks for brunch. Perfect timing for this episode. We know Perfect. Flowers and Friends is full of creative ideas when you're hosting parties, when you're having your friends over, or for yourself. Time for yourself, self-love. Absolutely, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us every single Friday. We appreciate you. We could not do this show without your support. Yay. Please join in, join in next week at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Why, Kara? Well, everything is better with flowers and friends. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye, Anna. See you. Bye bye. bye.